Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Juliana Falconieri. Saint Juliana's father, a member of the Florentine nobility, had erected the beautiful new church of the Annunciata and his brother Saint Alexis Falconieri had been one of the seven founders of the Servite order. After her father died, this uncle took a special interest in Juliana's spiritual progress. a progress that proved so rapid that at the age of 15 she took a vow of virginity and was given the habit of a servite tertiary by the general saint philip benizi thus becoming the foundress of the third order of the servites of mary for the next 19 years until her mother's death she continued to live a life of strict mortification and severe penance at home setting an example for everyone by her heroic works of christian charity and zeal for prayer thus influencing a number of women of the florentine nobility to break with the demands of fashion and check their extravagant lifestyle eventually taking part in a tertiary work on the death of her mother in the year 1304 she asked to be accepted as a servant among the women who had come to live a communal life as tertiaries with her but upon their insistence she became and remained their superior until her death 37 years later she was canonized in the year 1737 saint juliana's mortifications and penances were so severe that at the end of her life she was unable to retain any food but the lord permitted her on her deathbed to receive the holy viaticum in a miraculous manner deeply devoted to the blessed sacrament she had asked that the sacred host be placed on her breast whereupon it vanished after her death the sign of the cross with which the host had been marked was found clearly imprinted on her breast she is therefore called the saint of the holy eucharist